Welcome to the OC Varsity Girls Hoop Show Playoff Edition. Kind of like Street Fighter when they would say Championship Edition. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by our Girls Hoops writer, Carlos Sarius. And this is the best time of year, man. Playoffs are on the way. This is, what, a three to four to five to six week journey we have, depending on how far our teams go in the playoffs. Uh, this goes into, I believe, June. Yeah, it, it never ends. Um, we got to start out with Division One AA, Carlos, where we all know Modern Day's in there, but I'm licking my chops towards the end. I'm hoping we get a dream matchup between number one Modern Day, number one seeded Modern Day, number two seeded Troy. What are your thoughts on the whole bracket? Well, everybody knows Modern Day with uh, the Samuelson sisters and uh, Andy Velasco. Um, they're ranked number one on the planet, basically. They're number one in the state, in the nation, everything. Country, it doesn't even matter. Um, but also in there, the number two seed is Troy. And Troy is playing lights out right now. They beat uh, Brea Linda and Long Beach Poly on back-to-back -back weekends. This was back when Brea was completely healthy. Yeah, they dominated them. Uh, we were at that game. That was, that was impressive. Yeah, and, and then you, you, the very next weekend, they go out and they beat Long Beach Poly. Um, so Troy is at their peak right now. The, this is not the same team that would potentially face Modern Day in the finals that they played early in the year, and Modern Day completely dominated. Um, Troy knows how to win big games now, so they, they are going to be legit. Definitely the two favorites in that division now. We're but, here. But wait a minute. Okay, they're the two favorites. But you also have, you know, Troy's going to have to have rematches with Santiago of Corona, with Rancho Verde to, to get to the finals. So they have a tough road. Um, you know, there's nothing easy in this division. It's completely loaded. Yeah, it's always a challenge in there. Um, but we're here at J. Sarah High School, Carlos, and uh, they have one of the better divisions going, uh, better teams going in right now. The, the way that this pro program has been rebuilt. It's really been something to watch. Yeah, you know, uh, Mary Rosignol has done a great job over here. I mean, just building this program. I mean, the Trinity League is so competitive, and to go in there and be competitive, and now they're legit, you know, challenger to modern day. I mean, they took modern day to the limit um, when they played. Uh, but you're, you're looking at a team that has uh, great guards like August Touchard and sophomore Coco Miller. They got great, uh, you know, inside players with uh, Megan House and other sophomore. They definitely passed the eyeball test when, when I saw them, and they played a pretty good rosary team on the road. They they beat them up down low physically, and, and then you have August Touchard and, and Coco Miller just dropping threes. Yeah, and then Courtney Vacher, another big uh, underclassman. So, uh, you know, this is a very legit team. Now, the big thing is they're in Division Four AA, and you're saying what Division Four AA? Isn't that for like the small schools with like ten kids? This is one of the best divisions in girls basketball. It's got Windward of LA, ranked number two in the, in the state, number four in the nation. Um, there's Bishop Montgomery. There's, um, gosh, all kinds of teams, man. It's just a loaded division. And it's like, it's almost as as loaded as Division One AA. All right, and uh, we caught up with Jay Sarah, head coach Mary Rosignol, a couple of her players, and the Yoda of girls basketball. You'll see who we're talking about. Check it out. We practice really hard. And we, we try and work outwork everybody, and um, you know it, it does pay off. And they're they're great kids, and and fun to be around, and um, it's a great group. So the success we're having uh, is is really truly exciting. We've been working hard all season, so we're ready to go. We've been practicing hard, and we have been preparing for this like for the past year, so we're ready to go. Playing a tough schedule, it's the greatest way to prepare yourself for CIF and for postseason. So every year we've had a tough schedule. I'm used to it, so it's really good because it gets us prepared. And you know, for easier teams, we just play that much better. And for harder teams, we know how to beat them and we know what it takes to win. All right, we're here with uh, former Ayala coach and, like I just found out, many high schools you've coached at, Mel Sims, and now he's uh, come over to work at J. Sarah. Um, for you, Coach, what's it been like to, to watch this program as it's building up? It's been a wonderful time here. Uh, one of the reasons I selected Jay Sarah because they had a lot of promise. They had a good staff, and they had the ability to be a champion. So when I talked with Coach Mary, I said, you know, I'd like to come out there and assist. She was ecstatic, and uh, so was I, and it's worked out to be a very good marriage. All right, our thanks to the entire Jay Sarah staff and, of course, the Yoda of girls basketball. That was quite a treat, Carlos. The Jedi Knight himself, yeah. Mel Sims. Yeah, he's awesome. Bling, bling. That's all I got to say. All right, I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. That's Carlos Sarius. Be sure to check out OCVarsity.com all week long for all your latest playoff information. Thank you for watching.